Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today we are cooking up another recipe from the PBNSG cookbook. You guys know that during the week we've been reviewing a cookbook every month and then on the weekend I show you guys one of my favorite recipes I've made. So this month of February we are covering PBNSG's cookbook. This is the perfectly plant-based cookbook and if you guys check out last last week's video, um, I talked about PBNSG. They're a nonprofit group that does tons of outreach for the plant-based community. They have an awesome website. They have virtual classes going on right now. So check out their website. I'll have a link down below as well as this cookbook. And one of the reasons I really like this cookbook is because it is from their members. So there is tons of recipes in here from all different people, which I really like the collection of recipes. And, and it's so cool seeing a cookbook with multiple authors and different people that are have different styles of cooking and different flavors. So I really have been enjoying this. I will have a $5 off coupon code which I will link down below for you guys as well. So we're going to jump into today's recipe. Um, again, I'm not going to give out exact amounts because I want you guys to go check out the cookbook. However, if the author of today's recipe has it published on their blog, I will link that down below. And funny enough, I picked another recipe by the same person as last week's. So this recipe is by Vicki, which I did last week. So I'll post her blog as well down below. And one of the reasons why I picked this recipe is because this is something that is easy, it's simple, I had all the ingredients on hand, and it's just some a type of food that I would eat and make up often. It's definitely my style of making stuff simple and easy. So we are going to make the stuffed baked potatoes. It's on page 49 of the cookbook. And again, it was super simple. I had everything. And I think this recipe is really versatile. You can change up the vegetables that you put in it. And also, if you're on a plant-based diet for weight loss, this is also a go-to recipe for you as well. So again, it's on page 49. We're going to jump into it. So I have baked potatoes that I've just, they're baked. I put them in the oven, cooked them until they were nice and soft. And all I'm doing is halving them lengthwise and scooping out the filling. So I have most of them here. And, you know, this is not so much an art, but you just want to be careful and conservative with how much you take out. You want the integrity of your potato boats to be still there. So you don't want to scoop out all of the filling, but you want to get out most of it. So I just take a spoon for this part and just get out as much as possible without, you know, messing up the walls. You know, twice baked potato, easy. All right, so I have my mixture of potato in here, and then I love this this recipe because you're going to add in some cooked vegetables. So I have some broccoli, peppers, and onions that I decided to do today, and I just water sauteed those. Just going to add that in. Smells really awesome already. And then to this, we're going to add a little bit of plant milk that's unsweetened and unflavored. I have a little bit of hot sauce and some hummus, right? These are like all of my favorite things put together. We're gonna mash that up, restuff the potatoes and bake them. This is such a quick and easy recipe. And I guarantee that most of you guys have this on hand. You're just gonna mix everything together. You want the potatoes to kind of mash together, everything to be incorporated with the hot sauce and the hummus. This is almost there, so easy. And I just love this because this is like everything I already had on hand. So I didn't even have to go to the store for it, which is great. And then you're just gonna refill these up. I'm gonna make them a little overstuffed. We're gonna bake them just for a little bit of time again. And these guys are gonna be so good. I love how simple and easy this recipe is. It did call for a little bit of sea salt, but if you're SOS like I am, you can just leave it out. So I'm going to not even worry about that. Just omit it. All of that flavor is going to come from that hummus anyway, and a little bit of hot sauce that we added. And depending on your size of potatoes, you can have a little bit of leftover filling or not, but We'll see, I might have a little bit left over. I actually have quite a little bit of the filling left over so I can bake up a couple more potatoes 
maybe for tomorrow and just add them in the filling into the mixture already and then I can restuff them but it makes us a good amount they come out beautifully I'll show you a picture on the screen now I'm gonna go bake these just for a little bit longer and then taste try but such an easy and fast recipe and I will always be changing up the vegetables depending on what we have in our fridge but this has definitely become a family favorite of ours in just a few minutes you have a delicious stuffed potato oh my gosh these are my favorite we have been having them all the time I love how creamy it is from the hummus genius idea and I love that you can pick them up peppers onion and broccoli are my favorite mm. well I hope you guys will try this out this recipe is so easy if the author from this recipe posted on their blog, I will link that down below as well for you, as well as their website. Make sure you get the cookbook and check it out. Make sure you check out PBNSG. I have everything linked down below for you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. This is so easy and simple, and you can play around with adding in different vegetables. You could do this with sweet potatoes. I love it. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. I make whole food plant-based recipes every week, multiple times a week. We have one coming out in just a few days on Sunday. You don't want to miss. And I will see you guys very soon for the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.